Hello, my name is Haley, the artist behind the Talented Talon, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wrist rest. The first thing to do is measure how much fabric you will need. The finished measurements I wanted were 14 inches by 3 inches, so I measured approximately 16 inches by 5 inches, taking the seam allowance into account. Because I wanted the patterns to match, I measured on the fold of my fabric, so once I cut it, it will have one long piece of fabric. Once you have your measurements marked, you are ready to cut your fabric. You can use scissors, or if you have a rotary blade handy, you can use that as well. Now you can see I'm unfolding my fabric, and I have a nice clean folded line in the middle, so I'm just going to take my rotary blade and mark it up with the ruler and just cut along that line. And now I have two pieces of fabric measuring 16 by 5. Now that your fabric is cut out, we're going to put them together. We're going to put them right sides together, so wrong sides facing out, and making sure that your edges line up as excellent as possible. Now we're going to sew both long edges and one short edge with a 5 8 seam allowance. Turn right sides out through the opening and poke out the corners. Top stitch around all the edges except for the open end. Now that the top stitching is complete, let's fill it with stuff. To fill it, you're going to need a funnel. I made mine out of paper and tape. Now you're going to get your filling and fill it up. I'm using poly pellets, but rice is also acceptable. Once you're done filling it up, you will simply top stitch the open end and you're done.